What's up everybody, Cowboy King, you're back with another video. In today's video, I wanna talk about three things that I personally believe can affect our lives in all aspects, in all situations, in all walks of our life, no matter if you're older, no matter if you're younger. I personally believe these three, these three things, if we can put them into perspective, if we can put them into use and with effort, can really change our lives. Of course, these are not the only three things we can use, but these are three things that I personally use myself, especially within the last year or so that have really made an impact on who I am and who I want to be. That first thing is going to be being authentic, being true to yourself. Now when I say that authentic word, a lot of the times that makes people feel uncomfortable. A lot of the times people feel conviction from that because we're all guilty of being someone that we're not uh, in a certain area of your life and maybe you're even doing that right now. We're all guilty of, of not portraying the best version of ourselves to either one, make someone else happy, or two, just to fit in a certain group or clique that we personally don't really want to be in the first place, but we're just doing it for maybe a, a certain uh, social status or whatever the case is. Being authentic truly to yourself is the best thing you could possibly do, um, especially in a world where um, Everybody's trying to make you drastically different. Everyone's trying to make you be the same. I mean, I find myself a lot of times on Instagram or Facebook or whatever comparing myself with somebody else. And we have to look at it like everybody's in a different walk with their life. Everybody's going to portray um, an image over social media. Now, sometimes that can be someone's truly image, someone's truly beauty in that, which is awesome and amazing. But there's also a big portion of people just putting a certain face on, posting a certain thing just for you to make it seem like that everyone everything is okay when a lot of the times it's not and if you find yourself comparing yourself if you find yourself looking up to these types of people whether that's friends or anybody type of influencers that they're always smiling always this and this and granted their life may be extremely awesome but there's always something going on deep down inside of us that each of us have something that we're struggling with or going through and so don't always believe the lie that everything is just going to be happy and rainbows all the time because it's not and so especially during a hard time, if you can be authentic to yourself, being true to yourself, that is the best and way for you to cope through something and also the best thing you could possibly do for yourself and for those around you. Authenticity requires being vulnerable. It requires being transparent. It requires integrity. Um, the first two I said, account, or, uh, vulnerability and transparency can be sometimes hard, but I think some of the ways we can cope with a certain emotion if if being vulnerable is kind of hard and whatever it's what anything even if it's a negative emotion that first thing a lot of the times is to push it away to put it to the side and i encourage you to not push away your emotions not to hide your emotions or try to get rid of them or to ignore them but rather accept them accept your emotions and give the acknowledgement that they are there give the acknowledgement that you feel a certain way um, whether you're at this environment, you're at this workplace, acknowledge that you actually feel that way. When you do that, you're allowing yourself to not only accept where you are and who you are during these times and what you're feeling, but you're also allowing yourself to cope with them and to be actually to conquer them rather than just hiding them or pushing them away. Because a lot of times if we push something away, it will come up in a certain area in our lives that we really don't want them to show up in. Whether that's in a relationship or a friendship, with the families, whatever that is, we have to accept our flaws, we have to accept our shortcomings because each of us have them, you have them, I have them. The second thing I wanna talk about today is the willpower to change your direction or something I always say, your ability to adapt. Your ability to adapt to a situation, to a circumstance, to a working environment, to certain people, to an audience, whatever the case is, your ability to adapt is a huge thing that if if you can develop the ability and the capability to do that at that moment in time it's really going to help you to move forward with your life with certain things and really allow you to maneuver and pass people up as far as developing a self-awareness that isn't like anywhere else a lot of the times we feel ourselves doing the same thing over and over and over again the same routine talking to the same people looking up the same things and a lot of times we get stuck in a routine, but if you can develop the willpower to look at something, maybe you're not happy where you're at. Not everybody's happy or content with where they're at, which is totally fine. But we have to develop these self-awareness and look around and be like, you know what, I'm gonna have and develop the willpower to change. And how do we get the willpower? Where does that come from? Well, for me at least, I've been 
try to be I try to be positive the best way I can through social media through YouTube whatever that is I've been that way since day one since I was 10 11 years old I've always looked up motivational quotes inspiring quotes motivational videos and I'm always continually feeling and flooding my brain with positivity throughout the day it's not just a one video or two videos it's through the gym it's through the morning it's through the afternoons whenever I have downtime I'm trying to look at positivity I'm trying to spread positivity I'm trying to be positive and just really just mush it inside of me and so I think in doing so you'll develop a slow self-awareness of maybe I'm actually happy and once you start seeing that you're happy and you have the capacity to be happy and not because of someone else or anything materialistic items that you have but ultimately it comes from one side of you once you start developing that then you start realizing you know what maybe I can do something maybe I can be a change maybe I can help someone maybe I can be a, a helpful service to someone it starts it, it, it just it's a domino effect and so having the willpower to change having the willpower to adapt not everything is always gonna go your way not everything is always gonna make sense but if once you can adapt and change your willpower change whatever it is change the destination and realize that you are in full control of your life and how it goes and stop accepting what other people just throw at you accepting what your life this is just my life and this is it there's nothing else take control of your life this is your life this is your life and you need to take control of it to the best of your ability and adapt to your surroundings adapt to the audience adapt to your atmosphere and do anything in your power to be able to move forward into the direction that you ultimately want to move in. And the last thing I want to talk about, the last third thing, the first thing was being authentic, being true to yourself to the best of your ability, which opens up doors for you. The second thing I want I, I touched to having the willpower to change, having the ability to adapt to a certain situation, the ability to adapt to changes that are gonna come. Because changes are gonna have happen, they're inevitable, it's always gonna happen. So if you can acquire and have the self-awareness to change and to adapt to that is going to help you tremendously and the third thing I want to talk about the last and final thing is having the discipline to continue to do it no matter what discipline is the is the bridge between goals and accomplishment It's everything in between your goals and accomplishment everything right here that is discipline discipline is having the ability to do something even when you don't want to do it for me at least the biggest thing I can relate this to is going to the gym when I first started going to the gym, I was 210 pounds. I was not very happy with myself. And not every single day I wanted to go to the gym. A lot of times I overwhelmed myself with going to the gym. But it was the small steps each and every single day. The small consistency each and every single day. You're not going to see changes after two, three, four days. But you add in 60 days, 70 days, 90 days, 100 days. And it adds up. You'll see your body change. You'll see those hard work jobs, hard can the efforts that you're putting into something really come and, and, and be fruitful but it, you have to have the discipline to do it even when you don't want to now there's always a time and place for rest there's always a time and place when you need to relax and just enjoy where you are and and, and it's okay to be content it's okay to like just take a step back but the fact is discipline is the gap between your competitors the gap between whoever that you're trying to compete with or whatever it is you're doing um, discipline is something you just have to do if you're trying to accomplish something you ultimately want to be a better person to go to the gym to eat healthy whatever it is discipline is the thing that's going to get you there that is that bridge between goals and accomplishment now, I don't need to tell you exactly what discipline is or give you this crazy cool definition of it but it's a simple fact you just have to do it what you want and ultimately have to do is the consistency. People, so many people give up before they even start. So many people just quit before it even gets good. Consistency is what's gonna get you to where you wanna go. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen immediately. But if you can acquire true authenticity to yourself, accept your flaws, accept where you are, accept the position that you've been put in. You're not gonna have all the resources that somebody else. You just accept your position and where you are. That's it. Accept it and be authentic. Be true to yourself. Accept it. And once you accept it, then you're starting to develop this willpower. Start understanding and be accountable for yourself. Start being vulnerable. Say, hey, I don't know everything. I don't have everything. And maybe I don't want everything, which is a good thing to do. I don't need to be here or there. You know what? I'm going to be right here. And I'm going to start making these small and niche steps each and every single day to be the person I ultimately want to be. 
have that accountability, have that vulnerability, have that transparency, be willing to learn and to grow, have mentors, look up to people, ask questions. And once you do those two things, and then discipline becomes essentially just automatic for you. You have to do this, not because you want to do it, because you need to do it, because you're chasing after a person or something you ultimately want to be for somebody else, for your family, for your husband or wife or girlfriend or family member or uncle, whoever it is, you're starting to take the focus off yourself and because ultimately for me at least, discipline helps me when I stop taking the focus on myself. Like cool, you're doing something t physically to yourself, but in the long run, I want to have a nice family. I want to be the best version of myself as possible. I want to be healthy. I want to be fit. I want to be able to be there in all years of their life. You know, if I'm not healthy, taking care of myself, how am I going to do that? You know, and so it's just these things you need to put in your mind and have that strong enough why to do what you do. And oftentimes, I think a really strong why of to do anything is ultimately when you take the focus off yourself and it's on somebody else. That would ultimately, it's gonna push you, it's gonna pull you through tough, tough times and hard times. And so is being authentic, so is developing the adaptation you have during circumstances that will come your way because they're all automatically gonna come no matter what and having that discipline to change it. If you can do those three things in all areas of your life, obviously we're all gonna fail in each of them, but if you can just stay your course with who you are, the things you talk about, if you can do, do those three things, I believe that we're closely aligning ourselves up perfectly down the direction and the path that we ultimately would want to be down. But it starts with a decision and it starts with you. Nothing's gonna happen overnight. I don't care what anybody else is doing. Your outside surroundings do not, do not need to change. Everything starts inside of you. It starts inside of you. What's inside of your heart? What's inside your mind? And if you focus enough, hard enough on it, and you keep pursuing it, your eyes are gonna follow where you're gonna go. It's not always gonna seem that way. You may see a road start to turn up forward. You might see a quick curve, whatever it is. But where, you, where your focus is, is where you go. And I hope your focus is on something important and something impactful that you truly wanna do with your life. Because ultimately, I think we're all born to live great lives and to impact and help as many people as we can as we continue to go through the journey ourselves. Anyways, hopefully these three tips helped you one way or another, and I'll see you guys next time.